You might think the price of plotting on NVMe flash storage is outrageous. Setting aside the average price per gigabyte of decent NVMe being somewhere between $13 and $14 per gigabyte, when a single plot takes up 256 gigabytes and you need at least one terabyte of NVMe to plot just four plots concurrently, this gets very expensive very fast. There is also the problem of most cheaper consumer grade SSDs having lower endurance. While it's true that not all drives will fail after using up all of their spare threshold, it's also true that it's hard to predict. And watching a $400 investment into an NVMe drive that you're just using for plotting get thrown down the toilet is probably not something any of us wants to experience. What if I told you there's a way to plot on a hard drive that only costs $22? To add to that, this is a hard drive that most people are literally throwing in the garbage right now, which seems like the perfect use case for Chia, taking old, unused equipment that nobody wants and repurposing it and giving it a second life. That, and speaking of endurance, these drives don't suffer from the same limitations that traditional flash SSD or NVMe storage suffer from. These drives can be written, rewritten, and written again long into the future without the worry of ruining your plotting or temporary space drive. You might think this sounds too good to be true. Well, today I'm gonna walk you through how you can buy $22 drives on Amazon right now that can actually plot at a decent rate for the price and compete with NVMe drives. I've been plotting with all sorts of drives from Samsung Evo Plus drives to Samsung Pro NVMe drives, SATA SSDs, SAS 6 gigabit per second, 12 gigabit per second SSDs. I found some pretty interesting things when it comes to performance and I'd like to share these things with all of the lucky viewers of this channel that have been supporting us. So right about now, you might be thinking the title or intro was clickbait, but I will assure you, and I'll show you in just a moment that that's not the case. As you can see by this comment here from Bram Cohen himself, you can actually plot on regular hard drives. He does comment that it is a bit slower, but what I argue and what I'll show you today is that if you use the right drives, like this one that we're gonna be using here today, that have a high enough rotational speed and are fast enough, you'll actually be able to get somewhere between 10 to 12 hour plot times per drive per plot. So how do you do this? Well, I made a previous video about how to connect many drives to a computer, which I highly recommend you give a watch as I'll be taking advantage of this method of connecting all of these drives to our computer today that I'll be using for testing. The computer that I'm gonna be using for testing today has a single Xeon E5 2699V3 processor. I made another video about this computer here, which actually goes into detail about how to put it together. This computer by itself is capable of around 40 plots per day. And if you leverage this method of plotting, you could actually fairly affordably connect 20 drives to this computer and at a cost per drive of $22, you find that for about $440 of drives, you will have the equivalent of many NVMe drives in this computer, but without the price tag of NVMe. I made a previous video about power consumption, which I highly recommend you give a watch. The video goes over how to size a power supply for a large number of hard drives. You can find the video here, I really do recommend you watch these two videos if you're looking to reproduce the results that I'm going to show in this video today. You'll want to use one of these power supply adapters. This adapter lets the power supply stay on so long as it's plugged in. It does this by simply jumping two of the pins on the 24 pin power supply connector. You can find these on Amazon for pretty cheap as you see here. Once that's all out of the way, you'll have an external power supply that you can plug all of the drives into. Everything mentioned in this video can be found in the video description. There's links to purchase all of the hardware. And by using these links, you're actually really helping the channel out. So I really encourage you to use the links in the video description if you're gonna purchase some of this stuff. If you use one of these cheap HBAs, make sure you get one that's already flashed to IT mode so you don't have to flash it yourself. And if you use these breakout cables, 
You can actually connect eight or 16 drives to a single card, depending on how many ports the HBA has. You can get even more drives connected with SAS expanders, but I won't be covering that here as I have a great video about that, which I previously mentioned. With the drives connected, you will want to run this configuration as a starting point to plot on these drives. This was done in Windows with SWAR Plot Manager, which I also made a video about how to use, and you can find that here. The configuration is as follows. One max concurrent plot, one plot for phase one, and four gigabytes of RAM with four threads. With this configuration on our 2699v3 build, which I also made a video about that you can find in the video description, you could connect 20 drives to get 20 concurrent plots, which should finish in around 10 to 12 hours. As you can see with this test plot that I ran, it finished in 11 hours and four minutes. That would net you 40 plots per day. If you compare that to NVMe, sure, it isn't as fast, but at $22 a drive, the price of this solution versus NVMe is less than half. These drives also have a near infinite endurance. If that doesn't make Chia the most green cryptocurrency, I don't know what does. You're literally taking garbage that other people are throwing away right now and repurposing it and using it for plotting. And the performance isn't that bad, really. The key here is to plot a against either individual drives or a handful of drives in a RAID 0. I think part of the reason that this is as fast as it is, is these drives have a very fast rotational speed. The key here is to not RAID too many of these drives together. If you end up connecting more than 16 drives to a single HBA, it might be time to get a second HBA. The HBAs themselves have performance limitations, so you could theoretically connect enough drives to one of these HBAs to slow down all of the plotting. But overall, I think it's pretty safe to say that you could connect eight to 16 drives on a single HBA and not run into any performance issues. So if you compare this price-wise, you can see that with a total of eight drives, you'll have the equivalent of over two terabytes of an NVMe drive that you can run eight plots concurrently on. Sure, you'll have to buy an HBA and cables, but even with an HBA, cables, and eight drives, the total price of this solution is only $234. And the performance will be on par with the best NVMe drives money can buy. That doesn't even take into account that these drives last very long, as they don't suffer from endurance limitations like most consumer-grade NVMe drives do. That's it, so thank you for watching. Please comment and let me know what you think. I'll be making further videos about optimization for this setup and these drives specifically, which is kind of what our channel does best, value engineering, some of the best deals and performance that money can buy.